Hey there, welcome to my channel, it's Indy. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm gonna watch this 10 best places to visit in India tourism video, and we'll see what they have on the list. And I will see whether or not I would wanna go see it. I'm sure I wanna visit everything on this list, but I'm curious to see whether or not the things on this list are the traditional, typical touristy things or not. So before I go any further, please check the links in the description for all my social media and be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. I would really appreciate it. Thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are the best. Also, click the notification bell if you want to be alerted next time a video comes out. All right, let us begin. Marvel. Explore old temples, walk the winding streets of this fanciful corner of India, and slip into times past. Number 9. Amritsar. The Punjabi city of Amritsar lies on the border with Pakistan and is home to the holiest of Sikh sites. The Golden Temple is in the heart of the Old Walled City. This serene Sikh shrine provides a place for reflection and inspiration. Wow. You can tour the Golden Temple regardless of religion, but you will need to show respect by covering your head and removing your shoes. The streets surrounding the temple are a frenetic fusion of people, markets, and activity. Be sure to pick up some traditional goods, such as hand-embroidered fabrics mm. and delicately ornate shoes. Number 8. Ladakh. In northernmost That's India, so in the pretty. heavily disputed Kashmir region, is the mountainous destination of Ladakh. This region is large, but it has a low population density and a number of nomadic residents. Breathtaking, pristine scenery is a major draw to the area, but virtually all travelers will also spend time in the town of Leh. The town is located at a very high elevation, and it is home to the 17th century palace of the King of Ladakh. Wow. Buddhist culture is also prominent in Leh, and you may wish to explore some of the many Buddhist monasteries and temples. Definitely. Those mountains are so pretty. Number seven, Goa beaches. On the western coast of India is Goa, a former colony of Portugal that blends Indian culture with colonial influences and plenty of international tourism. Goa is popular largely because Fabulous. of its spectacular beaches. The busiest of all is Kendalim Beach, where travelers from around the world flock to soak up the sun. Anjuta Beach, by contrast, is far less crowded. It is also an amazing place where you can walk to Chapora Fort and admire the sandy coastline from a new perspective. Palalim is considered one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Goa, with its natural bay surrounded by lofty headlands I love on palm either trees. side. Mm. Oh, that looks amazing. So colorful. Number a lot of people. six, Delhi. If you're spending any time in northern India, you will almost certainly visit the capital city of Delhi. 
The enormous, sprawling destination is home to several districts, and it is considered to be one of the oldest cities in the world. Wow. One of the top sites in Delhi is the Red Fort, which was built in the 17th century. The Red Fort is made from sandstone, and you will be able to walk through its Lahore Gate, into the bazaar, through the Jewel Palace, and even into the former residence of the Sultan. While in Delhi, so cool. you should also make time for the many museums and religious structures that make up the city. That's neat. It's like a lotus. Number five, Ellora and Ajanta Caves. In the state of Maharashtra, you can explore the caves of oh both Ellora and Ajanta. At Ellora, there is an enormous complex of shrines carved from the rocky landscape. That is so These 34 cool. cave shrines are up to 1500 years old, and they are from three distinct religions. Buddhism, Jainism, and Hinduism. Two hours away is Ajanta, which is home to 29 caves. The Ajanta caves are covered in murals and paintings, most of which reflect Buddhist stories. While the two cave complexes are two hours away from one another, it is well worth visiting both to compare these incredible attractions. Oh, so cool. I love ancient stuff. Number four, Varanasi. A city that may seem strange to many Westerners, Varanasi is of great religious importance. Mm. The holy city sits on the banks of the divine Ganges and is believed by Hindus to be a sacred place of pilgrimage. The city is known for the religious practices that take place on the ghats alongside the river. Pilgrims wash themselves in the waters of the Ganges and the bodies of Hindus are cremated. The sights of life and death along the riverside can be shocking, but a visit to Varanasi is also contemplative and ultimately wow. helps visitors to further understand India's deep cultural and spiritual practices. That's so interesting. Number three, Kerala. The southwestern state of India, known as Kerala, is a place of tropical beauty. Kerala. Palm trees, white sand beaches, and ecotourism are all big mm. reasons to explore the region. Besides its famous backwaters, elegant houseboats, and temple festivals, Kerala is oh also gosh. home to the Tikadi Tiger Preserve. The hub of Kerala is the city of Kochi, where you can see the local fishing industry thriving along That's with modern sweet. high rises and colonial architecture. Uh. So pretty. Tiger preserve. Oh my gosh, I'd be so scared. <laughs> So green. Number two, Agra. 
Agra is known for one thing, the iconic and ultimately impressive Taj Mahal. Set on the south bank of the Yamuna River, the Taj draws millions of tourists a wow. year. Built by an emperor as an extravagant memorial to his wife, the mausoleum's porcelain white marble is an emblem of romance and adventure. So Agra pretty. itself sits in the shadows of its imposing monument, but is a small and welcoming city. The ancient Mughal-era Agra Fort is an attractive spot to visit. Peer over the walls and catch your first hypnotizing glimpse of the Taj. It is beautiful. So cool. What is that building? It's amazing. Number one, Jaipur. The pink city of Jaipur is the capital of Rajasthan and is where you can find the beautiful Amber Fort a sprawling, stunning complex set in the hillside overlooking a lake. Aww, Located elephants. just outside of the city and built in 1592, the grandiose citadel was also a palace for some time, but is now an impressive tourist attraction. Make sure to take a trip to the opulent city palace with its stunning courtyards and gardens, plus the amazingly intricate Palace of Winds. Jaipur forms one corner of the Golden Triangle, and it also makes a great gateway into the lesser known destinations within Rajasthan. That's so cool. So fabulous and historic and Incredibly interesting. Wow, what is that? It's really cool. Wow. <sighs> yeah, before I started doing this um, channel, I didn't know a lot about India. Um, the only knowledge that I really had was some pretty basic art history knowledge of certain temples and things. But since doing this, I've obviously learned a lot, and it's amazing how incredibly diverse India is. This video was a little bit more broad than I was expecting. I thought they would list uh, 10 best, like, specific landmarks, I guess, but they were pretty much just listing cities, which is cool, but not very succinct. Um, what do you think? I mean, do you think that the things that are in this video are the top 10 or is there something else you might switch out? I have no idea. I've never been to India, but I fully intend to visit in the near future. Uh, like I've said in the past, the Taj Mahal is not necessarily at the top of my list because it is very heavily visited by tourists and I would rather just observe it from a distance. And I would much prefer to see things that are way older. Not that the Taj Mahal, the Taj Mahal isn't old enough, but like the caves. Those caves and the, um, I guess the temples that would be carved into the, the sides of the mountains and the cliffs are kind of what I would really want to see. The really ancient stuff. It just is so interesting to me. And then of course, I'm a huge fan of going to the beach. So Goa and um, Kerala would be at the top of my list also. Although I would be frightened of finding a tiger in the woods. <laughs> Not that they, I'm not sure if they go near, you know, human civilization, but I've seen some videos and tigers are pretty fearless, aren't they? Yeah, this was really interesting to watch. And the only thing is that I wish it was a little bit more specific, but they really did seem to cover a lot of India. And I'm not sure if anything was even, any region was uncovered. 
the mountainous part, oh, what, what? I forget the name of the city, but the part in the north with the mountains, also at the top of my list. It's kind of funny. I love being at the beach and I also love being in the mountains. So <sighs> I might have to take more than one trip to India, which is fine because it is a massive, massive nation. And there's a lot of people and a lot of things to see and so much history, so much. That's the thing about living in the United States is we have a fair, a fair amount of history, but it's not that old unless you go look at Native American stuff. But even then, it's so it's been bulldozed really. And I wish it hadn't because I am a huge history nerd. <laughs> I just like standing in the same pot spot where people from thousands of years ago stood and lived their daily lives and at a place that meant something to them. So that's what that's my thoughts. Uh, I would love to visit someday really soon. Hopefully within a couple of years I get to go out there. That would be really cool and I know you guys would welcome me with very open arms. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, the usual. Thank you. See you.